In this recording, we're going to go over how you can use Excel in calculating some of your statistical analysis, too. So in addition to SPSS, so if you think back to the very, very first lab I had you guys do, I had you show me a screenshot that you had access to SPSS and Excel. So up until now, we've been using SPSS, but in this lab, we're going to use Excel. Now, this data I have here is just dummy data. This isn't information or, or real data. You should have um, your, your quiz score and your um, fellow classmates' quiz scores um, in, the, in, the, in the lab data section I have there for you in our LMS. And again, it's all randomized, so you can't really tell who has what score. So this data I'm using here is just dummy data. And um, what this symbolizes, though, is quiz scores. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find the median, then the mode, then the mean, the standard deviation, and the skewness. So let's start with median. So if I go up to here to formulas, and I go over to more functions, and I click on statistical, it should open up, yeah, this big long window for me here. And I just scroll down to median. So I go down and I find median. It's gonna ask me, okay, what scores do you wanna find the median of? And, and so if I look over here, it says B1 colon B20. And that's, that is, that's correct. So I wanna find the median score for the, um, all the data in that range. And so I press enter and it's gonna give me the median score of 86.5. So um, again, median is just if you take away the lowest, you take away the highest, and you keep doing that all the way in the middle is that median score of 86.5. Okay, so the next one I want to do is mode. So I'm going to go back up to more functions under formulas, and I click on statistical. And this time I want to find mode. And I know that I think there's just one mode in there, so I'm going to click single. Um, if you suspect there's more than one mode, you can click multiple. Okay, so I'm going to go B1 to B20. Now, I don't want to go to all the way to B21 because then it's going to think that this average score of 86.5 or this median score of 86.5 is included in my data range. I don't want that, so I just want B1 to B20. I'm going to press enter. So the most reoccurring score was 89. And then, so the next one I want to find is mean, or um, Excel calls it average. So go back up to more functions, statistical, and then click on average. And again, I want to have just B1 to B20. So I have to fix that 22 to 20. And the average score for this um, dummy class, or this dummy data class, is 83.9, or almost 84%. That's a pretty high um, average score. Okay, last one, or second to last one is standard deviations. So I click on more functions, statistical, go down to S's because it's, um, we call it alphabetize, so standard deviation. Let's just run it for a sample, so stdev.s, and if I knew it was a population, then it would go up to a P, right, but I'm going to use it just for, for a sample, and um, again, I want to go B1 to B20. And so my standard deviation is almost 10 points. That's a lot. That's a big standard deviation. So the average score was eight, almost 84 with a, well, almost a standard deviation of 10. That's huge. And then to find the skewness, so I go up to more function, statistical, almost all the way down to skew. And again, I don't want it to go all the way to 24. I just want it to go to 20. And so the skewness is a negative skewness, which again, if you think back to like chapter one or two, that's actually really good because that means that the bulk of the score is actually piled up um, further to the right and that tail tapers off the left-hand side or that tail is kind of pointing towards the negative end of the number line. So that's saying that a lot of people in the class had scores like 70s and 80s and 90s and that very few people had lower scores like 40s and 50s and, and 20s, things like that. So, um, so that's it. So for this lab, I want you to, to do um, chapter one and chapter two quizzes. Find the median, the mode, the mean, the standard deviation, and the skewness. And then jumping off this one for next week, we're going to do a couple other things. So don't lose this file.